doing a two to one main sheet here. Yeah, I think it's a pretty big game changer in the breeze. You can play the main for longer and not, you know, suffer from any kind of fatigue. It's pretty great. Hi, Bye, Mom and Dad. Thanks a lot, Amanda. Okay, bye. Okay. Here's Lisa with the massive two clip gens. A two to one main sheet. It's blowing about 16, 17 miles an hour. There's a lot of white caps. Did you use a two to one main sheet, anything like I that? I needed it. I'm going you, to go that way. You needed it. Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this video, I'm going to show you the game changer, the biggest change in the Sunfish sailboat since the Jens rig has been invented. And as you saw in the introduction, it is the two to one main sheet. What is the two to one main sheet? The two to one main sheet puts an extra purchase in the main sheet, which will make your sailing experience a lot better because you could sail longer in heavier winds with less effort. But before I get to the video, I would like to thank Dale Benham from Lincoln, Nebraska, who I met at the Sunfish Midwinters just a couple of weeks ago. And he came up to me and he introduced himself and he said, thanks for the videos. I really appreciate that. And he just said, thank you. I really appreciate it. But then he pulled out underneath his jacket, this hand carving that he made, which was really awesome. It took him over eight hours to do. And he did it with a knife and it's really cool. Check that out. Look at the detail. So thanks a lot, Dale. I really appreciate it. And now to the video. To set up the two to one main sheet, the two biggest things that you need are an extra boom block and a longer than normal main sheet from what you're doing. A normal main sheet is about 28 to 32 feet. You can go a little bit longer, but usually 28 feet is kind of the minimum. So the first thing you want to do is, I have two boom blocks here. I got this one here and I have this one here. These are both race light and these were supplied by the builder back in the day. So anything that if you want to be class legal, uh, you need to use builder supplied equipment. And these boom blocks have been supplied. Uh, I don't even know how old these are, but you could use other blocks if you don't care to be in a class legal race. And if you want to use this, so you could use a Harkin or a Ron Stan, but just so you know, if you're going into a, a, a class legal event, like a regional North Americans or higher, then you have to have class legal equipment. So I also had this non-stretch line. I don't know how long I need it. So this is about a 20 inch line. And what we're gonna do is we're going to lash this right onto here and I'm gonna tie a bowl in here. And this is really for demonstration purposes. Uh, I'm sure you would probably want to use a little bit more um, wraps around the, the block to prevent chafing. And one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna have the boom block way up here because what's gonna happen is you, when you trim your sail, you can't trim it in all the way and it'll and the main sheet will hit this block. So you wanna have the block down near the bridle, just like that. You wanna use line because it is, it, it could slide pretty easily. I'm just gonna give her a couple wraps here and then I'm gonna tie a couple of half hitches. Um, and if you don't know which not to tie, you better tie a lot of them. That's the uh, the old saying. So I'm just gonna tie some overhands here. I wouldn't suggest just willy nilly tying overhand knots, like half hitches, but I'll tie a couple of them just, just so we have an idea. So now you can see that. Now this doesn't really swivel as much and I'm actually going to use this one also. And I'm going to, you know, I don't have an extra piece of line, so I'm gonna use this blue line. I'm gonna tie it to the swivel. I'm gonna tie a little bow in here. There's the tree, rabbit, round tree, back in hole. I would not consider my knots on the Traveler Seaworthy. Let's do a test. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. I read all the comments. Okay, so how to rig this, you put the end of the main sheet in the main sheet block. I like to tie a double loop stopper knot in here. And then I take the other end and go up to the boom block here, front boom block. 
here. Then I go through, I had this piece of line here as a main sheet hanger. They also sell other main sheet hangers. So what that does, it prevents it from looping down and that prevents capsizes. Then from there, you go to this with the aft boom block. The aft boom block to the block here. And then all the way back, and I'm going to tie it around the boom. Now you have to be careful. If you have an out hole, you don't want to be tying the out hole to the boom. So I'm going to loop it through here, and I'm going to tie a bow in. And that keeps it pre pretty much in place. The uh, out hole is separate. So this is your two to one. You still got your main sheet from the cockpit to the block, to the forward, to the maiden sheet hanger, to the aft boom block, down to this boom block. And if there's tension, it should be like that. And it goes back up to the boom. Now what this does is when you have more purchase with that two to one in heavier winds, it becomes a lot easier to trim in when you're going up wind. Um, the disadvantage to having one of this is you need a longer line. So when it's far away, you need to trim in more to get close hauled like this boat is here. So this sail is not at 90 degrees. So this length in the black line is too short. So here we go, we got a longer line now. This is a skinnier line, which I never use for a main sheet. This is for demonstration purposes only. This would really hurt my hands. All right, here we go. We are at 90 degrees. Yeah, that's basically like 90, a little bit more than 90 degrees, maybe 92, 93 degrees. This is your minimum length. Now, when I say minimum length, that's because the stopper knot is going through here. A lot of people don't like to have a maximum stopper knot right at the boom block. So on this measurement, I would add another few feet here, maybe three feet. So you could, I like to tie a knot back here. And that's, this knot here keeps the main sheet from getting all tangled up in spaghetti-like. So use that tip. Now we're going to test how many pulls it's going to take me to get the boat center line. Six and a half. Let's compare it to if we do a one to one. So there's a one to one. We're going to compare. This is actually past 90 degrees. Okay, got a room. Okay. One, two, three. Three and a half. Three and a half to four. So that's two extra pulls on the two to one main sheet. So it, it's two extra pulls. And what I would suggest is when you pull in your main sheet from, from out here and you want to get around that mark quickly, if you want to trim it in, you grab it at the block, and then you pull, rotate your shoulders, and grab it at the block here again, because I know where my block is, and I, so I'm not like pulling it here and doing this. This this is not efficient. And then I'm using just my arms. But if I reach down, I'm just saying I'm on back here. I reach down, I give it a pull, rotate my shoulders, reach out. So now I have like five, six feet pulling down. Pulling out here, reach down here, pull, rotate. Less pulling, less this. This is not good. You want nice and pulls. So that's very interesting. Now I'm gonna see how the swivel block acts. So now we're going to try the swivel, the swivel one. And we'll see, some people like the non-swivel one because it stays in the same direction. Some people have reported that this twists. What I do know, and I can see what what can happen, is if, see the uh, the slot is facing forward and aft. That's what you want 
because then the lines will will go parallel to each other. If this if the block swivels parallel to this somehow, then you'll start to get the the twist here. And if it happens to be able to turn somehow backwards like this, maybe because if you ease the sheet, that I can see that happening if you ease the sheet, then you're gonna get an X. And that's gonna be really hard to trim. When the sail is like just fluffing, I could see this swiveling here and you don't straighten this out. If you go ahead and trim it because it's just flopping in the wind, you might have a problem with the, oh my God, it's a double X. You don't want the double X because especially when you go ahead and start and then you're trimming, you're, you're defeating the purpose of having the two to one, which is easier to trim. So what I would suggest, have this and make sure it's lashed so the slot is forward or aft. That'll keep it from twisting. So there you have it, the two to one main sheet. It's going to make your sailing experience with the Sunfish a lot better. So check it out, try it out. And if you like this information, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. If you know anyone who could benefit from this content, please share the video with them. It helps the channel out a lot. If you like this content, check out this video right here.